Good morning, it is Thursday and I'm just about to head into work but before I do so, I just really wanted to talk quickly about some bad news that I received this morning. Don't worry, it's nothing personal. Um, I woke up and I was checking my phone and my friend texted me that one of the players on BP for Dota 2 got traded off. So there is another Russian team called Navi and they did a switch between their players one for one and uh, I have only been really attached to maybe like two to three Dota teams in the past. VP is one of them and it really did make me sad to see that they're no longer the five that I've known them as and I really liked every single player and I liked that they were together for one and a half years I think close to two years and seeing them I assume kick Lil off the team kind of sucks because TI is coming up this year and I would have loved to see how they would have performed but of course they probably aren't playing as well as they should be lately which might be why they decided to do the switch but sad news man in the past for Dota esports um, I do think players were leaving teams much easier than now because Valve started implementing policies with roster locks and more teams tend to be stable nowadays in terms of not kicking or swapping players after not doing well at a tournament. In the past, it used to be pretty common to just leave and join. So it's good that they are doing that, but it still makes me sad. But I'm going to have to go to work now and read more about it on Reddit. <laughs> Try to learn as much as I can as to what happened. Hello. Thursday evening. And, you know, today was... Today really felt like a long day. But I have something exciting to share with you guys. Again. And it has nothing to do with this little guy. You must look so funny right now. Alright, alright. So there were a combination of things that made me decide to buy two days early, which is not really a big deal because I was going to do it anyways. But I started worrying about like maybe they're not going to have the one I want in stock. I am really color focused this time because I really want a white bike to match all my gear. And I think white is one of the better colors sorry, burp, compared to the ones that they tend to have, which is like a blue, red, green, yellow kind of choices that they usually give you. I wanted to make sure that the store wouldn't sell out by the time I decided to do it on Saturday. The thing is, this entire week, I have had my mind so focused on the scenario of Saturday going to buy. Then after I buy it and they ship it, I'm going to go riding. So... For some reason, I was like so concerned that that idea or that vision that I had for myself would be compromised, but they did have one white one left over. And I guess something I didn't realize when I first went last time to get the pricing checked out was that apparently Yamaha doesn't do non-ABS for white. And what that basically means is that it's anti-brake protection, anti-brake system. And that is a $700 difference. So originally I thought it would be $41.99 for the bike and then $5,900 roughly out the door. But it translated to $6,700 out the door, which is actually kind of like an $800 difference. So I just want to say ahead of time that the reason that I talk about pricing as much as I do is not to brag. I really hope that nobody got that impression, but the main reason I do it is because whenever I watch somebody else's videos or whenever I have in the past when someone would talk about a product, I would always be curious about the co the cost and the pricing for it. So that's usually why I like to reveal things because, you know, people are curious and if you kind of just let them know what the price is, I don't really think there's a harm in doing so. I don't know in case people are curious about my 
motorcycle gear, I am the type that tends to spend more than the average person on stuff like that. So um, just for reference, if people are curious, my helmet was $450. It was on sale. I think the model RF1200 usually retails for $589.99, something like that. Um, my gloves were $150. My boots were $300. And my jacket I bought a couple months ago on sale at Revzilla.com. And I think it was in the 150 range as well. My jacket is actually textile, which are more lightweight and less protective. And ideally, I do want a leather jacket, but those tend to run around 500 and up, oh, five to 600. Um, I do plan on getting a leather one eventually. The main reason I decided I would be okay with this one for now first is because it looks awesome. That was the main reason I bought it in the first place. And because it does tend to be you know, warm here, so having a textile jacket that lets in more airflow and keeps you cool wouldn't be so bad. Ultimately, I would definitely prefer to go leather for the safety. And um, that is what I care about the most. So for now, I'll wear this textile one maybe on super hot days and until I get a leather one. But when I do get the leather one, that will probably be my main. All right, let's get into the actual bike. Um, they said that they will be calling me tomorrow to figure out delivery because they can either, they do free delivery, so they're going to deliver it to my house. I'm not sure if I want it tomorrow or the day after because tomorrow I'm still working all day, so I won't actually have any daytime to ride it unless I take my lunch break to ride it, but then that means that, means that Riley suffers. Not that she suffers, but she won't get her walk because then I won't have time to fit in both. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out insurance because I'm trying to get the best quote. And right now, since it is a new financed bike, I want to make sure I get all those coverages that deal with people fucking you over. And what that means is stuff like theft or people just knocking over your bike by accident, um, hit and runs and all that stuff, so I need to make sure that my insurance that I end up getting covers all of that without it being insanely priced because right now, most of my quotes have been roughly like 60 to to $100 a month, which is a big difference from my old bike, but I think it's because it's new and it's a sports bike and maybe it's in a specific category where it's just considered to be more costly. Um, it took me roughly an hour in the store to get this all sorted, but the thing is I had already been in there previously to speak to a sales rep and I also had his phone number that I was texting for like once in a while throughout the past month to kind of ask him questions about things so he knew that I was interested in buying and he knew that I was coming because I told him and you know, I'm that type of person where you, when I say that I'm gonna do something I do it. So he knew that my interest never wavered. I was still interested. I was just waiting for the right time. So let's get to it. All right. Okay. Let's talk about this. So I decided to get the 2017 Yamaha YZF dash R3. Um, this bike, I don't know specifically the cubic centimeters for the engine, but it is in the 300 range because these bikes tend to be similar to their name. So the 250 is around 250. I think it tends to be 249. And then the 600s tend to be in the 600 range, thousand, stuff like that. So I believe after their discount, this bike came down to 48, 48 and 30 cents, 4,800 basically. And then you have to pay for shipping for them to get it from Japan to here for 575. And then to assemble the bike together, they tack on a charge of 499. And then, oh, DOC, so that's documenting. I think that's part of like getting your registration done for the bike in the store compared to the DMV, that's $80. And then tax came out to be $697. So altogether, out the door for that became 6,700. And I was able to do 0% down because of my excellent credit 
and I got a 2.99% APR, which is super good. I was thinking it would be like 3 to 5%, but I was very happy with 2.99. Um, I did opt to pay for other stuff like service, which basically means I think that if I need like parts or if I need some maintenance done on my bike, it is like included in the cost that I'm paying for it, which is $7.95. And I believe it lasts three years. So that's pretty much just like if anything happens to your bike, you can get it fixed without so much worry about the cost. And then I also got gap insurance, which has something to do with uh, like, I don't know if you total your bike and insurance pays out a certain amount. And then there's that leftover that you need to match the actual cost of the bike. And then gap insurance is basically that leftover to make it so that if you do ever get in a situation where your bike gets totally fucked and you need another one, you don't actually have to pay out of pocket for any of that. It turned out that my financing was over four years and I would have to pay 179 per month, which really is, uh, that sounds so cheap to me because my car was $400 a month for five years. So just thinking about like motorcycles, the cost for the smaller end bikes, the starter ones, really are so affordable and it's so cool that it makes it so accessible like that. Yay! <laughs> I am crazy because I went during lunch and that made my lunch two hours long, but my manager wasn't in today and I'm leaving soon, so I don't have much incentive to be a very good employee. Decided to put in my notice today because I got my background check cleared and they were just waiting on my drug test results, which should come back in a couple days. But if I fail my drug test, then all meaning of life is gone because I don't do any drugs. If I fail that, how the fuck can I fail a drug test? So I am banking on the fact that I know myself to not fail something like that, which is why I put in my two weeks notice and then that means that I'm going to start um, February 19, I think that's the Monday. Um, so basically I am going to be off for a couple days while my parents are here. And then I'm gonna be working like two days in the office before I finally leave. And then I'll have a three day weekend before I start my new job. And I do lose a little money because I'm not getting paid for the days I'm taking off exactly, but I uh, I don't think I want to try to worry about that too much because my parents are here. I don't want to have to work when they're here. It would be nice to spend time with them completely those days, or not completely, but just being available and not having to worry about like spending time with them after working a full day. So. That's pretty exciting to look forward to. A pretty exciting game of Dota just finished. And Newbie is just about to play in the next match. So I decided that I wanted some second wind. Some more energy to last through this night. So I decided to cook with the remaining ingredients that I have. And I really feel like eating something warm. And also another thing I wanted to keep in mind is that it's been a couple hours since I last ate a meal. I uh, had some yogurt beforehand, but yogurt really digests fast, I think, for me. Like, I think my body just digests things within an hour and then I'm freaking hungry again. So it would be nice to eat something warm because just makes you feel good on the inside, right? Oh, wait! Fuck! Oh man, I'm out of oil, I forgot! What the hell am I gonna cook with now? I have no cooking oil. Oh, I really wanna make this food right now, too. Fuck! Okay guys, my alternative. 
I actually never use butter to cook with, especially not in the pan, but... Oh man, I don't want to have to use too much. Ah, screw it. Like, I don't... Man, <laughs> this sucks. All right, my near midnight snack. Uh, it feels nice to eat something like this at this hour because I ate dinner, let's say, five hours ago. So, good time to eat some more, something that's like a real meal instead of just yogurt, which is like so light, it does nothing for my body. But yeah, newbie has got some games playing. I don't know if I'll be able to stay up for all of them because it's also like day two. I don't really know if it's worth it for me to be up till 4 a.m. for something like this. I do have monster if I need to, but probably not necessary. My food is basically done cooking, so I'm going to section it out and then devour it enjoy it fully. I'm gonna have to figure out what I want to do about delivery tomorrow. It would be really cool to be able to ride during the day tomorrow. I don't know if there's an excuse I can make up to try to get out of being at work, like working from home or something, but most likely I will accept the delivery tomorrow even if I have to leave from work early and maybe I can do a little bit of practice tomorrow before I decide on a Saturday cruise. It has actually been a relatively rough week for me. Half half I'd say because work still manages to be stressful because of the people. But um, I'm always in a really great mood once I'm home. So having that divide is nice. But at the same time, I can't wait to start my new job because at least the two people that interviewed with me, they seem cool. So I look forward to working with them. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully I can get some nice uh, riding footage if possible. That might be a little hard, but yes, I will try my best. So, see you later.